Hello there. Welcome back to Jenny Designs with Paper. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I'm working on a mixed media tag, an art journal tag, so get comfy and let's get crafting. This month, the mini mission for the Mission Inspiration Group has two choices, Run Rabbit Run or Scary Monster, because not everybody loves Halloween and I'm not always in that bag, but I thought I would try and put both of these things together in one tag. So I've printed both prompts onto one piece of paper and I've created my tag. This is a four by eight inch tag and I've just created it out of the backing of a piece of 12 by 12 inch paper pad. And the first thing I want to do is adhere this piece of pattern paper to the front. This is a text pattern paper. Um, my camera is going to wig out here for a minute because for some reason it was not liking the white of my tag today. I just was not focusing well. I am using Liquitex Basics Matte Medium. This is a um, non-shiny adhesive. Um, it's a liquid medium. I am putting it on with my brush. And of course, like always, I got too much. I don't know. I, I feel like that I either get too much or not enough and the edges have to be, you know, re-adhered. But whatever. <laughs> I'm putting the um, pattern paper down, text side up. I will take the um, rest of the gel medium in my brush and spread it over the top, the front side of the tag that will create a non-porous surface or some of the other things I will be working on later. I'm also going to clean up the back side with the brush and then heat set that with my heat tool. Once this is all dried and my desk underneath is clean so it doesn't stick or, you know, tear anything, I am going to go ahead and cut this, the excess of the paper off with my long Tim Holtz shears, scissors, thingies. And these are the really long ones. Um, I picked them up when Tim Holtz had a sale on his products, which, you know, doesn't happen very often. And I will say that this is probably the most expensive pair of scissors I've ever purchased because even my fabric scissors that I have literally padlocked so my kids can't use them, I bought those on sale. And I think these still might have been a little bit more, but they were worth their weight in... Well, pattern paper at least. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my crop it out to punch the hole back through my tag so I can put it back on my ring. And then I'm going to take this archival ink. I think this is ripe pers or, um, persimmon. Um, I don't know what the color of it is. Let me see if I can find it in my drawer. Um, vermilion. This is vermilion. And I'm going to take a brush and ink blend the edges of this tag. We're going to speed that up for a minute because, well... As much as I enjoy watching um, all, you know, all the art journals and mixed media tags and stuff, um, ink blending does to get a little bit redundant. So we're just going to double speed that for a minute and create this orange border around our gray tag. Um, I am working on that Teflon. It's the, the Teflon. Um, I can't think of the right word now all of a sudden. Words are hard. It is Wednesday. Halloween was yesterday. It should not be this difficult. The Teflon mat from um, Tim Holtz and Tonic Studios, I think, is for, you know, ink blending and alcohol inks and stuff like that. Um, it's not quite as handy as the white, no, the one that doesn't slide around for ink blending. But I like using this one with my gel mediums and my liquid adhesives because it cleans up like a champ. Um, it's easy to see and that the glue and stuff comes right off of it. I am going to add a little bit more interest into the background of my tag by creating some hashtags or some hash marks. Got some black acrylic paint and a used up gift card. And I'm just going to do three horizontal and three vertical lines in each of, well, the top right and the bottom left corners of my tag. I am running my tag horizontal this month um, just because of the images I chose to go with the theme. I have some clip art images that I was um, found online and printed and cut out, which I'll show you those in a minute because I think they're kind of cute. <laughs> All right, once I have the hash marks down, I'm going to clean up my desk and heat set that a bit, and then I'm going to add some gold. This is a... Uh, it's called Golden Sunrise, I think. It has mica powder in this gold acrylic paint. And I'm actually going to splat that on with a fan brush. 
So I put a little dot on my desk. I'm going to add some water with my um, spray bottle and I'm going to pick up my fan brush and an acrylic block and just kind of splat it onto the front of the tag. Now, again, I did not get my splat box, which is literally an arm, well, maybe two arm stretches away from my desk. And so now as I'm sitting here doing this voiceover, I see that I've got gold paint splatted on my paper trimmer, on my misty stamp positioner, on my parts of my work surface that weren't covered by this mat. But oh well, everything needs a little extra shine and it could be worse, it could be glitter. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more paint there to my work surface and add some more some more splatters to the tag. It's not super noticeable on camera and in real life even it's very subtle, but it was just enough interest in the background to go ahead and move forward. So for the run rabbit run, I found this picture of this little rabbit um, running away, looking over his shoulder. And for the scary monster version of this tag, I found a scary monster. It's a cute scary monster because I'm not into that yucky gory stuff. But my thought was maybe I could have this run rabbit run running away from this scary monster. And then I have both tag, um, what's the word I'm looking for? inspirations. <laughs> That's not the right word, but we're going to go with it on the one tag prompts. There we go. I can use both prompts on one tag. So I put a little bit of that um, gel medium on the front of my tag, and then I'm putting a little bit on the back of both of my clip art pieces, my cutouts. These I printed um, on about like a 65 pound cardstock, so lightweight cardstock. I wanted them to be a little bit more hefty than on regular copy paper. Um, but I put the um, adhesive on the tag and then on the backs of the cutouts so that when I went over the top of them with some more adhesive, they wouldn't wrinkle. And because the paper was heavier than pattern or regular copy paper, rather, and, and because I had adhesive on all the sides, I did avoid any wrinkling. It was really, um, they went down really nice and smooth. And I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and add some of that liquid or the matte medium over the top of the images just to make sure they're glued down nice and so those colors don't um, bleed or fade too far back. Um, there were a couple places where my um, black hash lines weren't quite dry and they smeared a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. Um, I'm going to add some shadow. I have my black pit pen and I'm going to put a little dash of that black ink under the bunny and then smear it out with a damp finger. I just wet, wet my finger on that baby wipe. And then I'm going to add a little bit of more ink underneath the monster. This got to be a little bit too heavy. So I just used more water on my finger. And then eventually I just picked up the baby wipe and kind of um, blended it out that way. So pit pens are India ink and on a non-porous surface, you can see they are temporarily um, movable. Once they're dry, they're dry though. So my next step is to add some more pattern paper to the back of this tag because it is just leftover chipboard and it got kind of messy with the gold paint and the black paint and the um, ink blended edges. The back's a little bit messy. So we're going to stick the other half of that piece of pattern paper. Again, I will be putting the text side out, although this time I did not make sure the text was upright and on the back it is in fact upside down but it is so faint. It is a gray, light gray paper with a light gray text. So it really is so faint that even in real life, when I pick it up, I really have to focus and see if it's actually right side up. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and trim that down again with my big fancy scissors because I like them. <laughs> and once I get this all trimmed out, I will go back around off camera and make sure that all of my edges have remained stuck down, especially on the back where I use that collage glue stick. Sometimes on that shinier um, cardboard, it doesn't stick quite as well. So once I have this all trimmed, I will make sure that my edges are all stuck down properly and that all of the layers of my tag are um, sticking together. And then I'm gonna pull out my crocodile and punch that hole out again through the back side. I have my crocodile set and I don't move it <laughs> so that I know exactly that the depth is right and that all my tags will line up. 
I did feel like we needed just a little bit more interest on the, um, on the tag. And I contemplated for a minute adding some white splatters or something, but instead I pulled out that gold paint again and part of a makeup sponge. And I'm just going to go around the edges. Um, not as far in as I did with the orange. And, and this is mostly to kind of blend together those two. Um, you know, you've got the front paper and the tag and the back paper. So it kind of will just um, hide that seam a little bit, make it look a little bit more unified, but also adds a little bit more shiny and a little bit more interest. And, you know, it's shiny. Everything needs a little extra shine. I'm trying to be judicious with my paint, so instead of adding a whole bunch at once and then having to wipe it off, I'm just adding a little at a time and adding that, you know, going back and forth and back and forth. And I really do like the the finished look that that created with my tag. So once that dried, um, I did walk away for a few minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and glue, there's the right word, glue <laughs> the prompt cards to the back of my tag. I did realize after I finished filming and um, like way after I finished filming that I didn't sign or date my tag. So when I realized that I did um, later go ahead and put my name and October, I did it. It's the October mid month mini mission for the mission inspiration Facebook group. I will link them down below. It is a fabulous group full of people who make all different kinds of mixed media art. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was such a fun prompt. Um, I have a couple other videos here I've added for you. I think you might like them. I'm also added that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. Um, give me a thumbs up. Let YouTube know you like the, the channel. And leave me a comment down below. I love to hear them. Have a really fabulous day.